Welcome to Travel Inspo, where we show you places around the world to help inspire you to travel. Are you ready to discover the hidden gems of Greece? From the breathtaking beaches of Santorini to the ancient ruins of Athens, get ready to explore the top 10 must-see destinations in this stunning Mediterranean nation. Make sure to stick around for number one to see where you can experience the most vibrant and chaotic market in all of Greece. So let's go! Number 10. Corfu Corfu is the epitome of all things Greek. Corfu is a lovely island on the Ionian Sea with mountains on the inside and enchanting white sand beaches on the outside. It's a foodie's paradise with Italian, French, and Greek flavors. Even though it's at the top of many people's lists, you can still find peace by staying away from the busier towns and sticking to the more sparsely populated coastal areas. Along the coastline, there are numerous tiny towns and stunning beaches. For almost every traveler, Corfu is a fantastic destination. The best nightlife is in Kavos, a town in the south if you want to party and meet new people. If you're on a more family-friendly holiday, Akaravi in the north features kid-friendly beaches, a peaceful village, and the most transparent water you'll ever see. Number 9. Crete Crete is gorgeous, which is why it's on many people's bucket lists. When people hear Greek island, they immediately picture Crete because of its white sand and intensely blue waters. On Crete, you may go the entire length of your Greek holiday without getting bored. The fifth largest island in the Mediterranean, Crete has everything you might want from a Greek vacation. History, culture, gastronomy, beaches, and nature. The Knossos site is a must-see for all history enthusiasts and families who want to learn about history while on vacation. With its pink and white sand, calm waves, and endless sandbars, Elafonisi Beach is one of the best beaches for beachgoers. It's perfect for tanning or sipping an uzu slushy. Take some time to hike around the stunning Samaria Gorge. Number 8. Santorini Santorini is well known for a reason. It is one of the most breathtaking locations on Earth. It offers some of the best nightlife in Europe and a variety of sophisticated and informal food options. Although it is somewhat touristy, it is nevertheless very Greek. You may enjoy the nice weather without having to deal with too many people if you visit during the quieter months, April through June and September through October. Due to the drop in tourists, you'll find it easier to appreciate Santorini's beaches and superb wine. Your best chance to fully appreciate Santorini's famed caldera, created by volcanic explosions, is on a sunset sailing tour. Wandering through Oia's famous alleyways allows visitors to see the vibrant structures that have been cut directly into the rock. To get the best experience, visit this location early in the day or during off-peak times of the year when there are fewer visitors. Number 7. Zagori In the far northwestern part of Greece lies a region called Zagori, which is renowned for its stunning natural beauty and is home to two national parks. Mighty rivers carve out its rocky mountains and deep forests dotted with ancient towns, many of which feature majestic stone homes dating back to the late 18th century. Hiking the many routes that connect the settlements is the best way to experience the area. The magnificent Vikos Gorge is the easiest and most rewarding target. Number 6. Mykonos There is no better place to find a party than Mykonos' renowned nightlife. If you stay in the capital, Hora, you will have access to some of the most exciting events, bars, and clubs, all of which will have the Mediterranean Sea as their backdrop. Grab a drink in Little Venice to begin the evening on the right foot while seeing the most breathtaking sunset from a waterfront bar, but reserve a table ahead of time. You can eat dinner in Little Venice or venture into the city for an upscale fare. You can catch well-known DJs like David Guetta by finishing the night in the clubs. Although Mykonos is most known for its nightlife, the daytime could be better too. The numerous beaches, Matoyani street shopping, and local cultural attractions like the Cycladic Paraportiani Church may be enjoyed during your free time. If you want to get away from the hive for the day, you may take a boat over to the island of Delos, which is uninhabited, and walk around some of the most critical ancient remains that Greece has to offer. Number 5. Skopilos Skopilos is not a place you want to miss if even a tiny amount of the Mamma Mia movies played any role in inspiring your journey to Greece. The legendary wedding scenes took place in the hilltop church of Agios Ioannis Castri, where you may indulge all of your Meryl Streep-related dreams. Even though the movies made it famous, they needed to convey the island's beauty's depth adequately. 
Its sheer cliffs plunging into azure waters, golden sand beaches, and pine tree forests are gorgeous. People who want to unwind frequently engage in activities like swimming and tanning. You can also trek up the rocky slopes to view the setting sun. Visitors are aware that Skopelos offers more than just beautiful scenery. It provides a variety of excellent and distinctive Greek cuisines. Strife, a phyllo-wrapped cheese piece, is one of the must-try meals. Number 4. Tinos Tinos is yet another gem that can be found in the Cyclades archipelago. It's well known for the carved marble facades of its buildings and more recently for its flourishing food scene. You'll need to travel to Mykonos and take a ferry. It's well worth the trip as this region produces some of the finest wines in all of Greece. And among its sage-scented hills, restaurants run by chefs from all over Europe have opened their doors. Most are found in Kora, the main town. We advise trying Thalassaki's authentic Greek food. Number 3. Mycenae Plan a day trip to Mycenae if you still need to get your fill of history in Athens. During the war between Greece and Troy, it is said that the legendary King Agamemnon ruled from this place. This makes it one of the most famous historical places in Greece. In addition, it served as the epicenter of the Mycenaean civilization, which ruled all of Greece from 1600 to 1000 BC. Since they have been meticulously kept and researched, you can still stroll the sacred streets today. Make sure to enter the historic city through the Lion Gate, where two female lions carved out of stone will watch over you. There is also an on-site archaeological museum where you can explore all the artifacts that researchers have uncovered during the excavations that have taken place and learn more about the history of the city. Additionally, several cyclopean walls have summits that can be reached for panoramic views of the surroundings. Number 2. Kythira You found Kythira if you want to enjoy the sun on a Greek island but don't like crowds. It's where the goddess Aphrodite is thought to have been born and it has monasteries, beaches, a fortress, and a piece of the Venetian Empire. If you want to stay in a more developed area, Kapsali, Kora, Daikofti, and Agia Pelagia are great places to get an afternoon drink and watch the sunset. The vestige overlooking Kora is ideal for seeing the sunset because you can then stroll down the hill for a traditional Greek meal. It's a great stop as it's halfway between the mainland and the island, whether you're going on an adventure in Crete or not. You can go on hikes to the area's breathtaking waterfalls along the Milipotamos Valley and swim beneath them, or you can spend your days unwinding on its isolated beaches. Number 1. Thessaloniki Thessaloniki has only been part of Greece since 1912, which certainly shows. Previously the second city of the Byzantine Empire and afterwards a bustling Ottoman port city connecting east and west, Thessaloniki has a long history. This is different from Greece depicted in travel guides. The city's primary market, Kapani, is as vibrant and chaotic as an Istanbul bazaar. And much of the original Ottoman architecture can still be seen there. You can even go to the home where Turkey's founding father, Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, was born. The harbour sign Ladadika neighborhood, where most pubs and clubs stay open until 6 am or later, is home to some of the craziest and most exciting nightlife in the Balkan Peninsula. The Uzo and Bugatsa breakfast pastries are unmatched in these regions, and the old town is great for a random morning after a mooch. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's video and found it interesting, then make sure to leave us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to be up to date with the most exciting content as soon as it's uploaded. Thanks for watching, we'll see you again soon in another video.